Okay, hello. Um, welcome to Mirror's Edge. It came out uh, last year. I think it's about a year and a half old now. Wow. And um, I got up as part of the uh, Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday sale. Runner, I have a job for you. And uh, yeah, I can do a couple of uh, fun little uh, missions here. It's apparently it's a free running type game. And it is um, in a dystopian type world. Aren't, aren't, aren't they all? Aren't all games set in a dystopian type world? That was a forward roll. I actually managed to do it. Yay. Oh, see? I missed a forward roll there. I'm still getting used to the controllers, so that's my excuse when I uh, so when something really bad happens and I plummet to my doom. Um, but yeah, you're a free runner, which is essentially a, a messenger type person. Uh, fighting the man. Um, yep. Okay. What's up? And here's some men to fight. What's there? Ah. Whoa. Ah, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Is he down? Oh, very scary. So, okay, I think I've gotten them all. And now I am going to take out this lovely control tower. Apparently there's another one around here somewhere, but I don't... Ah, there, there are a few over here. Okay. Anyone else left? Ah, here we go. It, yeah, it, it's a bit disorienting to uh, try and play this. Okay. Because it's all, a lot of uh, first-person stuff, but it's also doing stuff that first-person doesn't normally do, like, you know, the forward roll or the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Usually, you're actually extremely limited. And now, I have to get out of here. Because, yeah, you shouldn't be around when that happens. Wait. I'm grab something here. So, yeah, this has, uh, thus far, been a kind of interesting game. And I completely missed the lap. <laughs> uh, can be a little bit confusing, a little bit uh, pretty fun to watch. I just have to get out of uh, sight for a little while. But once you uh, zip line, ah, I don't know. for some reason my forward rolling skill is not very good at this. And I'm also finding that I'm hitting the uh, ROM button when I want to do certain things. <laughs> so I'll, I'll jump, I'll plummet to my doom, and then... Oh, by the way, you just hit the ROM button. Wow, these guys are seriously on me now. Probably shouldn't have paused to do what I just did. Okay. They'll never find me down here. So yeah, that's a continuing thing of... Uh, Stealing that, so I'm in cooldown. Have they? F they found me, darn it! Ugh, silly people. I'm probably going to be running for a while. Okay. Can't make that corner really. Huh. Let's drop. That's way too far to drop. Oh, can't go up that way. Let's see if I can crash down and hide in here. So I am out of sight. You can see the cool down button there. Okay, looks like it's working. Very, very, very scary. But yeah, that's far. It's been a pretty fun, interesting game. The uh, Play style, play systems. Ooh, I got all kinds of stuff. Whew. Okay, I'm okay. I'm safe now. But yeah, it, it's it's been interesting so far. Um, 
so you have oh, excuse me all kinds of different little abilities you, what you have here is the uh, uh oh I have I've already hacked this screen which yeah basically you just get more experience points for doing that you've got these soft things you can land into and stuff like that but here let's go to the main map and figure out where to go next so that's a fragile fragile delivery opportunity which basically means you can't have too many hard falls otherwise you'll destroy whatever you're uh, doing Ooh, that I want want to do that's a side mission for another um I, I keep wanting to say hacker and the, I suppose free running is a bit like uh, building hacking if you're familiar with that but oh that really hurt myself got to remember to do that silly roll once again got to remember to do that silly roll so yeah we're, we're gonna go do the uh, nomad thing I'm I'm I swear I'm hitting the button I'm just not timing it right so this is um ah see I, I hit the wrong button there so this is a runner's vision that we're seeing here which is basically you set a waypoint there we go I could roll you set a waypoint and then you go play it out like that um, so, it, it actually, it works fairly well, but apparently it's not always the uh, best route, so you should go through and find the better route, but if you have no idea exact, I'm still confused about locations of things, so it's actually quite convenient <laughs> for me, because then I can figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Also, I seem to be having this, uh, near always, uh, fear of falling here, so... So I, I believe I'm heading back towards the hideout, and Nomad's back in one of these other hideouts. Yep, that's leading me towards that door. Yes, perfect roll. So yeah, I'm playing a uh, character named uh, Faith. She just got out Juby. She's out doing all the cool stuff. Oh yes, I have this uh, disruptor that I can disrupt fans with get into new and cool areas. Okay, so this is a wall running. And you can slide. Yeah. Another slide. Okay. Whoa. I actually missed him. <laughs> oh, went the wrong way. Haven't haven't gone through this door before, so. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> And, well, to keep you up on gameplay, I my character has just uh, taken a uh, weird little something from uh, the main baddies, apparently, and it's causing a lot of problems. Ah, here we are. So, here we are. Let's see what uh, Mission Nomad has for us. Looks like he's spray-painting things. I'm trying, but what is that? Art, Faith. Art. Yeah? Could have fooled me. Funny. Did you just come here to crush my self-esteem, or are you up for some actual work? Sorry. I'm up. Good. Word is Kruger Arms are developing a new type of drone sensor chip. I'm thinking we should grab one for ourselves, but there's the question of where they keep it. Somewhere in Kruger Arms, maybe? You're all wits today, huh? I had a guy working there who promised he'd sell me some docs with the info, but now he's reneging on the deal. So I figured you could just break into his place and grab them instead. Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. Cool. I'll send you his address. It's not far from here. So obviously we are um, not the most law-abiding of uh, citizens. But, okay, yeah, I can get to that from there. Uh, but the dark irony here is that compared to games like GTA V, we're actually really, really law-abiding. I'm just saying. The guy works for Kruger. But hates his job. He has access to a lot of stuff. He said this sensor chip is a real game changer. Uh -huh. But I guess he got scared of being found out. Hopefully he'll still have those dots at home. <laughs> Alright, so I got some grid leaks there. Huh. Anyway. Oh, right here. Break an entry. <laughs> his apartment is on the top floor. Should be an so. easy climb for a spider such as yourself. So the runner's vision, thing. which is that red thing I've seen earlier. Should be a control panel somewhere close. Um, is offline, so I have to basically go through and figure 
out where to climb and how to do this on my own. Now, one of the problems I've had thus far with the game is... See, like that. It, that looks climbable, but apparently it isn't. <laughs> and a couple times I've done desperate leaps onto something that I thought was climbable, and it turned out not to be climbable. Okay. Ah! So, looks like gonna be free wall climbing. Um, but that only happens when they uh, turn off the uh, uh, runner vision. So this is... Actually, what this is reminding me of is a uh, first-person uh, Spider-Man type game. I should be able to get to that. And then should from there be able to get to there. Okay. I'm wondering how many more of those Krugersek goons don't like what they're doing. On the other hand, I guess most people feel like they don't have much of a choice. Let's back off a little bit. I should be able to turn this off. I would think. Uh. Hmm. I can't just go through there without getting slashed. So apparently I can't turn this off. So I think I have to keep going up to figure out how to turn that off. Oh, that looks climbable. And it's not. Her. Oh, that does though. Ah, come on. No, apparently it's not climbable. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, oh, maybe if I follow the yellow. Let's see if I can. How far down it is. Okay, gonna try dropping and hurting myself instead of rolling. Ugh, I meant. So let's follow the yellow things and maybe there'll be a breaker box or something I can turn off. <sighs> I, I'm sure it's really a lot of fun to watch me try and play a game that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Interacting. Whew. Oh, All now right. it's connected. Good. The guy lives on the top floor. So it looks like, yep, I can get into that now. So yeah, it, it is kind of a problem-solving type game too, um, as well as fighting people game. And yeah, it, it is qu quite an interesting, the perspective, the viewpoints on it. So I, I have to give credit to these guys. They, they did create an, an interesting um, look at the game, at a game that does this. Here we go. Now I'm inside. So wait, my runner vision, can turn that on. So that should give me the best route up. Well, maybe not the best route up, but it should give me a route up. I can always know where to go next. Or at least have an idea. Okay. There we go. Where to go next. Let's see. Huh. And oh, I'm I thought he was on the top floor. This is sending me down. Still sending me down. I do hope I'm heading the right direction. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go over here. Ow. <laughs> I have got to stop doing that. Okay. Okay. And, okay, apparently I screwed up somewhere because it's sending me back over here. Huh. You know, I, I was following this exactly. I'm just saying, if I screwed up, it's the game's fault. <laughs> it, it, isn't that the way we all play games? <laughs> when I do something good, it's all me. When I do something bad, it's the game's fault. All right, we're back over here again. Okay. Right. So. Now it's saying there's... 
right beneath me somehow? Huh. Okay, so maybe if I go in up this way. And get back over here. Hmm. Well, I am now officially thoroughly confused, but okay. Let's head on. Oh, right here. Alright, I think... We're in the right way. I've already been here. Huh. Let's try going down some stairs here. A little bit more and see if that helps. Because this is really confusing because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going or doing. Hmm. Can't get through those doors. You can always tell which doors you can get through. They say R2 on them. Or if you're using a different system, they say something else. So that gets me here. Am I supposed to get in through there? Am I supposed to come back out through? All right, let's head down and... I swear, one of these days I'm gonna roll, okay. This is very, very confusing for me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm sure there are people... Ah! <laughs> I'm sure there are people who really know how this game is going like, Oh, come on! It's so obvious! According to that, I'm supposed to get right there, but I've already been right there. So yes, this is this is some puzzle solving stuff here. Is there something I'm supposed to grab right here? Because it doesn't look like it. Well, I, I've got this door open, so I'm I'm just gonna head up. Because he did say it was on top floor, so maybe I've just been Maybe that's the lesson here. Don't always trust running vision because running vision might screw you up at some point trust in yourself oh, that's quite a jump okay so where am i supposed to go from here i see hmm anything to hang on to okay well we we are going to attempt a jump then I'm on a balcony, but I can't get in from here. Try the roof. You try the roof. What? Are, sheesh. Some people. Okay. Okay. Looks like. Looks like I can climb up to that. But who knows? Let wait. Let me. So my runner's vision is online, but it's not giving me any clues to get in. That looks like a possibility, but if I fall to my doom. That's also a possibility. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, good. That's what you do. Obviously, the technology is always right, so. Ooh, thanks. I knew you would. Ah, comfy bed. Okay, let's look around here. Ooh. All right, I got them. Time to... Uh-oh. I'm gonna show up and... I told him the deal was off. You're forcing me to call for backup! The guy just showed up. Let's see, okay. I'm hitting the wrong button here. So yeah, looks like I can make that jump. I'm out. Got the goods. I knew you could do it. Whew. Come by later. Have a look at what you got. Guess he called his friends. Security Better stay out of sight for a while, Fate. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to... There we go. Knocked him up. Okay, got them both. Whew. I'm awesome. I mean, I got very lucky. Yeah, that pretty much whenever I say I'm awesome in a game... Whoa! That was weird. <laughs> okay, so somehow pushing him caused me to plummet. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the best player of this game ever. Nah. <laughs> so I may have to fight those two guys again. Yep, have to go all the way back to this part of the escape. I'm out. Got the goods. I knew you could do it. Come by later and we'll have a look at what you got. Guess he called his friend. Better stay out of sight for a while, Faith. Okay. There we go. Got him. Okay. Now this guy, what I was trying to do... That was what I was trying to do here. Okay. Yeah, let's see. How... Okay, she automatically goes on this. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> wasn't sure how to get onto one of those from the top. Yes, I have completed it. I am awesome. To celebrate my awesomeness, I am going to attempt a roll. Yay! So anyway, that's a quick look at uh, downloadable Mirror's Edge. Um, uh, compared to normal games, that is games you don't have to download that are full games like this one and not specifically downloadable games. Um, thus far, it's been uh, pretty good. A uh, couple of smaller things just in uh, approach, and that's about all. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like it, and uh, come back for more uh, Mirror's Edge and philosophy and other things. All right, bye.